previously on... The Song of Ilium? Quarrel. Forces. Duel. Pandarus. Diomedes. Last time in Book 6, we shared a heart-rending moment with Hector in Andromache. This time in Book 7, we finally bring an end to a long and bloody day as Ajax fights Hector. If it's not already clear, I'm trying to sell you on the idea of the Iliad's heroes being semi-historical versions of dynasty warriors. This may seem hard to believe in today's world where a child with a gun can mow down a horde of MMA champs, but in the Bronze Age, the MMA fighters are the rulers, and there were no guns. What enables Bronze Age lords to gain this heightened fighting prowess, the defining trait of feudalism, over the vast bulk of their peasant armies? Well, they have the leisure time to train, the wealth to pay for the best weapons, the necessary food resources to build up a physique, and the bulk of the warfighting experience. Kinda like the Mafia, they rule by force, because they're willing to do what most won't, kill without hesitation. How do such men coexist without constant descents into violence? There's no higher authority to maintain order, there's no cops to call, in fact, there's no representation of a legal system in the Iliad at all. Right. There's no right. There is only the power of men. Our heroes rely on the power of custom. Unwritten codes of social conduct set by precedent in lieu of law to resolve disputes. Generally speaking, where law is strong, custom is weak. And where custom is strong, law is weak. This can be observed in our world today. Where the rule of law is strong, custom is rarely considered. However, in lawless places, custom is the very framework of society and must be observed. Don't imagine you too wouldn't follow these killers. We've already touched on one such Homeric custom, Xenia, the duties and rights of hospitality. The characters of the Iliad take the upholding of this custom so seriously that they're willing to go to war over it. Another equally important custom in the Homeric world is the Horkos, an oath, a solemn promise given with an invocation to the gods. This is a ritual we still practice today, though without quite the same reverence. The oath was extremely serious to the people in the Iliad, and not keeping to them was thought to bring the severest divine wrath on both the Oathbreaker and their community. Pandar showed us in Book 4 the fate which awaits perjurers, and Antinor correctly forecast the fall of the city because of the Trojans' failure to return Helen here in Book 7. Back in Book 3, Menelaus insisted Priam take the oath for the duel because he, probably correctly, believe Paris and even Hector lack the honor, Timae, to keep the promise. Timae is a value which encompasses a great deal, including honesty, status, fame, and wealth. It's what separates the nobles from the rabble, and all the warlords in the Iliad both possess it and seek more. There's no better example of the honor-loving warrior lord in our character study in Book 7, Ajax, whose name means of the earth. The son of Telamon from the tiny poor island of Salamis, Ajax is a fierce, physically huge, if slightly dim-witted, but truly kind warlord who acts as the hard backbone of the Greek army, especially in the absence of Achilles. He's one of the only warriors who is never wounded and never receives divine aid. We can see Ajax as the prototype for a whole cast of characters that pop up in storytelling. Fingertip of their own means. The bulwark of Achaea 
isn't just a great defensive warrior who holds the line, but he's also a paragon of honor. An immediate example of this virtue in Book 7 is when Hector agrees to fight Ajax without asking for an oath, simply trusting his opponent will treat his body with honor should Hector lose. Ajax has his Aristea in Book 15 when he practically holds off the Trojans by himself at the most critical moment for the Greeks. His love of honor is most evident in his death. Ajax kills himself out of shame when the other lords refuse to award him Achilles' armor after Paris kills him. The Prince of Salamis is the Iliad's best representation of a Bronze Age lord. A monstrously proud, but honorable, and deadly warrior. Without further ado, I present you Book 7 of the Iliad, Ajax Fights Hector. <laughs>